I made a game for a game jam and I wanted to make it a bit better, so Ta-da! Let's learn how to make a confetti effect in Unity. The whole effect will be based on Unity's particle system. We start by going all the way down in the particle system component to the renderer setting, change the render mode to mesh, set the mesh to plane, and change the material to sprite default. The plane is horizontal, so we can't see it. To change it, go to the rotation over time settings, enable it, and set the angular velocity to random between two constants with the values of 45 and 180. Hi, it's me from the edit. The rotation looks a lot better if you use separated axes with the same variable, so the rotations will be random in all three dimensions. Now that we can see the particles, we can see that they are too big. In the main settings, set the start size to random between two constants with the values of 0.01 and 0.1. But what is a confetti without color? Change the start color to gradient and put any colors you want. I will just use them all. You can use the fixed mode instead of the blend mode, but why would you do that? We can set the looping confetti effect by changing the shape to box. Using the handles or the actual values, change the side of the box to fill the width of the screen, move it to the top and rotate it so the particles fall down. But if we want to make a confetti cannon effect, we can leave the shape as cone. We want the confetti to use normal physics to the gravitation, so let's set the value of the force over the lifetime attribute to the value of minus 9.8. Go back and change the start speed until everything looks right to you. To make the confetti burst like a confetti cannon, first disable looping, change the duration to half a second. In the emission tab, change the rate over time to 100 and create a burst of 100 particles to make all of the particles burst out at once. To make it more realistic, let's change the start speed to random between two constants, 10 and 15, and move the confetti to the bottom of the screen. A little fix I forgot while recording this video. To make the confetti appear above all other elements, go to the renderer settings and change the ordering layer to something bigger. And for some finishing touches, enable the trill tab and play with the variable. If you want to know more about trails in Unity, check out this video. Also, the ribbon mode in this trail option is really cool here, so try this. If you want to learn how to make the drag and drop system for this game, check out this tutorial. See you there. Bye!